Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and this is another really requested video. I see it in most of my comment sections. It's how do I get that little thing popping out on the side of this? I believe it's called like a lower lower third or like a moving annotation. I'm not sure what the pop proper term of it is, but I'll be teaching you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is go on to file new on Photoshop and then what will happen is a little project settings will appear. Press pixels and here this determines on what resolution videos you have if you have 1080p videos it's 920 as width and 1080 as height otherwise it is 1280 by 720 and that is the width and height um if you have a lower than quality than that you, i don't know what it is right now but you know I, I don't think a lot of people have that so i record in 1080p so it's 920 by 1080 and make sure the background content is transparent that is very important and press OK. And so I'm gonna be teaching you guys like a very simple way. You guys can obviously you know make it a lot uh, look a lot better. So all you have to do right here, I'm rushing a little bit here. So all you have to do is press on to here. This is like a rectangle tool. If you right click on it, it says rectangle tool. You can choose circles or whatever if you do not want to do a rectangle. And so all you want to do simply is put it where you want where it appears. So if you you know want it appear on this side usually i put it on here you can put it anywhere so i put it here right just stretch it out however long you want this is all based on your preference however you want so if it's that long and then move it till the edge of it touches the you know when it when it touches the edge okay next thing you want to do is change the colors of it so press on the rectangle tool and select the layer again and here select the fill is the fill color so maybe you want like a grayish color just to keep it you know cool and then you can add a stroke as well this is like the border so if you want to add a little accent to it you know so let me just do red and you can make the border like thickness a lot higher right here and then what you want to do is type in the text of you know what you want to talk about you know usually i do like like this video don't forget to like you know can we reach 50 likes it's all up to you you can do subscribe you can do follow me on twitter there's tons of things to do so let me just type here uh, let's say subscribe oh and actually say let's like this video you guys can't see that so let me just increase the font to like 100 or something like this video and you know and if you guys haven't yet go like this video you know that's kind of important and then i'm just gonna change it to whatever font i want this is one of my favorite fonts and so i'll i just drag it here and I would make it smaller, but one thing you want to make sure is that the text layer is on top of the rectangle. And press text tool. And now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to select it and then just use the down arrow on this and just make it smaller. And then here, that, that's what it would be. And then I can also add a little like smaller line right here saying, uh, I could see like, don't forget to like this video. So look, I guess that can be good. And uh, maybe a different color or like a different font. Don't forget to, and like I said before, this is all up to you. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be like mine, okay? I know I'm awesome. I know I'm a legend, but it's all right. And so let me move this down. And let me make this a little bit smaller. So I'll just do this and select on here and then go down a little bit. There. And as you can see, you guys can't really see that white text right there, right? You cannot see that white text. So what I'm going to do is add a little um, blending options to it. So I might add like a gradient to it so it, it appears more. So let me just, I zoomed in here for you guys. So what you want to do is right click on the text layer. It could be either. Press blending options. And here it's, a, it's for do not, don't forget to. So let me just move here so you guys can see it. I usually do a gradient. A full gradient depending on whatever color you want so I would do like white to gray if you're doing like you want red just do a uh, light light red to dark red or something like that so here that's a little and then just press the drop shadow you don't have to change any of the settings there and that's what I usually do and if I were to do black I'll actually change this to red because I want I want to show you guys this so let me right click on like this video and I really want you guys to, you know, put in two different texts or two different fonts because they it will make a big difference. It will emphasize the the thing you want to get emphasized. 
So let me just make this red. Let me move this for you guys here. So let me make it dark red. This is actually how I make my th thumbnails now. The same gradient style, like how I, I choose my gradient. So let me just choose a light to red here. And so yeah, it fades in a little bit. This is how I believe FaZe Clan does it as well. And just add a drop shadow as well. And then let me zoom out for you guys and show you how how you how it looked like. But you can also, you know, do it to the border as well. Let me just show you guys. So what I would do is just cop right click on it, press copy layer style, and then paste onto this. This is if you want a quicker way, you can you know obviously do you know even different ones for your um rectangle. So like here, I don't want the fill to be red because I won't see the text. So I'll just take out the gradient and I'll just add the drop shadow only. And then let me zoom out for you guys. And that's how it looked like. And so it's slide in. I'll teach you how to do that in your video editor. If you guys have Sony Vegas Camtasia, it will not work for the YouTube editor because it doesn't have transitions. It will work for Movie Maker, I believe. Will work for iMovie. Work for any single video editor that has transitions. So what you want to do is press save as or save. It doesn't matter. And here, save it as a PNG. That is the most important. So the background will be transparent. And so you will see it slide in and stuff. So here, let me call it swag and then save it right here into my pictures and then i'll get back to you guys once it saves and once i go on to camtasia my video editor and i add this into the video editor okay now that i'm in my video editor camtasia studio you can see there is a transition bar this is what you want to look for so if you guys have either fade like whatever transition you want usually i do slide in left and slide in right so it slides in instead of you know fading stuff just as a little coolies effecty and so let me just go on my pictures so here how would i check this go on pictures and then here swag and then i would actually add another picture in the background so i can show you guys what would happen if there's like a video in the background here i actually have this little video my friend made and he sent it to me i was gonna make a video on this but i will not be making a video on this and here i'm just gonna move it near the beginning so you guys can see this and then what you want to do is just go into your transition bar. It might be different for, you know, every single editor. Obviously, it will be different. So, I'll just do slide right. And then slide left. And then here's how it looked like. Watch the screen. Let me just make the screen a little bit bigger for you guys. So, once I press play here, you'll see it right there. You just saw it in the bottom left corner. Like, I placed it. And you let me show you guys once again. Let me press play. And you guys can obviously add, like, a picture. You will see it right there. You can add a picture, you can, you know, change the transition so it slows down. And you can add a picture like a thumbs up button next to it or anything. So that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let's get this to 50 likes. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.